welcome new listeners to the Todd Glass Show. Before we get going, here's some stuff you should know. To tell if it's a bit or the truth from Todd. If he says potato salad or swear to God. Those expressions are comedic, little darling. If Todd means the truth, he always says to George Carlin. And on the topic of bits, let's erase any doubt. Todd's almost always joking when he says, edit it out. The intro goes long, cause Todd's so big hearted. Other podcasts in before his get started. The intros are recorded on a phone, but don't worry. The audio of the show is at a higher quality. You know the Podcasters Association. Voted the time last show with number one. So welcome to the show. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hey. Can you tell if it's me or not? Hey. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We're here at the Petaluma Comedy Festival. Petalama. Petalama, seriously? Yeah. Oh, Petalama Comedy Festival. Sorry, excuse me. So far, so good. The hotel is awesome. What's the name of the hotel, Blake? Hotel Petaluma. Just Wait, is week. it hotel or Petalama? Well, no, it is Petaluma. The festival's Petalama. Okay. Festival's Petalama. The town is Petaluma. Yep. That's what it ended up saying on all the posters they said in the town. <laughs> so, uh, but it's the, so far, uh, the hotel is awesome, and the venues are cool, and... Uh, the hanging is really great. And uh, Blake, what did you do tonight? Uh, I did improvisational story. Yeah, uh, there's a thing called Comedian Cine Club, and we just basically improvised uh, The Princess Bride, and it was so much fun. Blake was good. Thank you. Wow, you should have seen him. Cast me, Daddy. St- <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so uh, the, everybody on the cast. I thought he introed the show really well when he, he goes. Did. We're not improv people. We're not. We're just a bunch of comedians getting together, having a. He set it up perfectly. He was a good. He was a good at hosting his own show. Yeah. What was his name? Do you know? Eric Lampart. Oh, Eric Lampart. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, Eric Lampard. Eric Lampard. Oh, 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 Eric Lampard. Oh, sure, Eric, Eric Lampard. Lampard. Eric oh, sure, Eric Lampard. Lampard. Oh, sure, Eric Lampard. Oh, sure, everybody knows Eric. Everybody's a funny guy, funny yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric Stand Plus up, Lampard improv, Eric very Lampard. good. Yeah, Lampard. sure. Really the fact is, he's a nice guy. I mean, a really, really good guy. Nobody can believe it. All right, listen. Wow. So anyway, something really... There's a... I'm almost afraid to say this because of... This is the type of guy, if he found out I was talking about him, he might hunt me down. But there's a guy in the audience, and he brought a bird. Not just any bird, a bird of prey. A hawk, right? A falcon. A true falcon. And then he he doesn't even... It sounds like a bit. Is there anybody behind us with a bird? Oh, my God, it's a turkey. No. And it's not like... (laughs) And it's not like it's... Hey, how how you doing? Mm. And it's not like it's... You know, he would sit and just watch the show. No, that would be... But he's He's over talking talking to people... Yeah, he's talking to his friend, um, not paying attention at all to the show. He's making a point of not only having a falcon, but being seen as a guy with a falcon. Yeah. And if at any point the show's going really well, and, uh, you know, sometimes people aren't... People that don't know what's going on don't know that, like, the, most of the audience is here to see it. So the, so he sees, like, the whole audience, because they were. They're all watching the show. Like, like everybody. The show's, like, great, and it's the room's dark, and everyone's... And, and and the more that that happened, and it was happening a lot. The show was yeah. going really well. He he, also, just, by the way, he would start walking around the room because that was his way to go. Oh, shit, that was no. Eric Lampard, everybody. Eric. Oh, we just talked about you. <laughs> what? Uh, so, to your point, we're like, first of all, if you walk into a room with a with a bird with a hawk or a falcon, you're the you're the center of attention, no matter what. This guy was still so boring that. There was a show going on, and he was so fucking boring. He had to wave his fucking bird yeah. around in order for people to get like. Yeah, like, go walk like, to also, the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. In what world would you not be? But by the way, put yourself. And this is in. This is not in his defense. He can go to hell. But it's literally like, oh, you walk into public, you're gonna. If you see a guy with a like a falcon, Shh. I'm telling you, and I'm being serious. For George Card. Yeah. He's gonna. If you hear this, I'm not. I don't mind the hawk. I think, you know, people have strange pets. Yeah. And, and I understand. I'll go right back to you, Blake. Yeah, All I'm asking, if you come in and the hawk and you're with it, and I think it's become maybe a, 
you know, a, 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 you know, a little a mascot here at the club, the hog. And but you sit and watch the show, fine. But you can't walk all over the thing, trying to get trying to get it, trying to get the attention during the yeah, show. Wait. So, excuse me. It's what what bar has think? a mascot. I don't know. I'm trying to be nice. No, but a mascot, like a mascot for a bar, is like, oh, this is our sock puppet. It's our mascot, yeah. not a live fucking falcon. And it sounds like a joke. It literally sounds like, oh, what would be like the alt comedy thing to talk about? Like a falcon. There was literally a falcon, a living yeah. falcon, and it had the hood on it, like the hood. Yeah, why do they have a hood? So it doesn't fucking fly out and talon someone people. to death yeah. wait how does the hood prevent that because it can't see. can't see so it doesn't know what's going on oh and also, when we that's were in there, so unnecessary todd he took the hood off he did we take the hood out. off oh, yeah. so he was so sick he was like you know what i'm gonna compete i'm, I'm gonna compete with whatever this is yeah i'll let the wings to be fair it was pretty funny yeah. Hello. come yeah. on in we're, we're recording the podcast intro oh, yeah wow. and we have it's another so we have another special guest from the show Oh, you were on this show? This one right here. That was yeah, great. He was you great. know what I was going to say? Hold on one second. Let me pause it. Sure. All right. Well, listen. Here's what happened. Somewhere I was talking, and then um, I, had to st- I had to turn off the voice. You know, uh, I, someone came over, started talking to me. By accident, I stopped the last recording. Now I'm picking it up again to bring it home and throw to the show. This week's show is... Uh, Hampton Young. Hampton, Hampton Young. Hampton Young. By the way, Look he's you recording guys. his album in Chicago uh, August 31st and September 1st, I believe. Right. Yeah, and Glass I'm plugging it. That's right for our Chicago Glassheads. And guess what? Talk about Duncan's here, Blake is here, Thank I'm you. here, all in Petaluma. And then not only is the person here, I'm not even going to say his name. I'll ask him to say count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And that was the other guest. And thank say, you guys so much for listening. That's right. Yeah. Say apples, apples, apples. Apples, apples, apples. <laughs> okay, now I want to I want to ask you, the listener. Listen, because you know, you just listen to that. Try to guess. Do you want to guess? I'll, I'll just stop for a second to give you a chance to guess. Who you go? Is there anybody going? Oh, I know who that is in a second. Or are you thinking? I think I know you know, I who think it that is. Guy with the bird picked up a girl tonight. By the I, way. Oh well, you know what? That makes me jealous. I think his I think his mom came in. Oh, the guy with the hawk. No, the guy with the hawk. Blake was so close to bumping into the hawk. You the guy with the hawk. The guy with the hawk just went by with a girl. I'm an eagle, brother. Okay, so listen. I think it was. A so that was Jeff Tate, everybody, and uh, he. Yes, you were right. If you said that, if you weren't, so what? No big deal. Don't be hard on yourself. You're okay. You're a good person. So he's our guest next week, and um, we're up here. It's great. Petaluma is a really cool little city, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Our show's tomorrow night. Loose with their bird laws. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It is a little. They are a little a bit loose. Lenient for little, my little, a little lenient with their bird. I should take a picture. Let me explain this area we're in. Um, it's there's all these bars all over the place, and it's like a courtyard. There's like Christmas lights in the tree, you know, the white ones, and it's good energy. There's some a lot of trees everywhere, a lot of brick everywhere backs of bars and it's like this cool little area with ivy growing everywhere and Jeff and we're Samari just we're just hanging out jeff samari just walked over yeah wow, wow. so I'll tell um, you what this, I'll tell you and what i mean let me throw it to the show like. so any, what doesn't it look like a place where you should have a fucking bird on your arm thank you well let me tell you it's something somebody's circus the, the, a, a woman over there said it the I best because i didn't i didn't want the bird to leave i didn't want to my fantasy wasn't to tell the guy. I didn't want a confrontation. I know he just loved whatever. He, he might have you a little bit of a problem. You about this? No, my, my dream come true was not that he that there's a confrontation. And that, just that I wanted him gone. And the woman over there, she goes, yeah, you know what I think? Just please go away. Like, and that was doing? so well said. Because it's a weird energy. It's not, it's a very weird energy. And what by I, the way, if he I comes said. after me, I want everyone to know that I'm afraid he might, he might kill me. Oh, my God, here he comes. You know what? That's it. We'll throw to the show. We got to run. Now entering Nerdist.com. I think we should have a pre... I'm I'm too George Carr, I'm being honest. I think this should be a pre-opening. You have no idea what I'm going to talk about. Some people would say it's very edgy and alternative. So what I'm going to call this, and we can label it a cold opening to the cold opening. Seriously. And I'm going to... It's going to be called Your Name. Okay? It's just the whole segment's called Your Name. You have to be. Go- is it? Does it drive you crazy that it's you know your people are checking? Like you want to make sure you're saying it right. And I've known you. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's Hampton Yun. Oh my God, you nailed it. Son of a bitch. You nailed it. Thank you, John Brand Wagner. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> perfect. Wow, wow. 
So John Brand went, okay, great. So that's the whole fear, the whole show. I didn't want to be like, and I, here's what I have a feeling. Here's what I want. Well, Aristotle said this. He goes, I think if it's, <laughs> if it's close, he doesn't ever say anything. Is that true? No, I always say, I always like, you know, correct. You, well, you should. But I don't like it. There's no right way to correct somebody. I know, I right. You know. Because can I tell you? It, you're right because it's it's. But at this tr- point, it's been so long in my career that it's insulting. <laughs> so, so it's like if I don't say something, then I'm just a worm at this point. I have to. I have. You to. should. I would. I would be aggressive. Hey, listen. You fucking say names for it's a living. It's not Todd ass. Yes. <laughs> it's Todd butt. So. <laughs> so here's what I want to do. Get out of the way. A few things real quick, and then we're gonna introduce you. It's gonna be fun. You know I me. Mean? I have like two minutes of business. It used to be thirty. Um, <laughs> uh, I never get tired of the jingles. I swear to George Carlin. Everybody's so getting anyway, warmed up here. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so uh, throughout the whole show, we have a running joke. Like you know, when a comedian, when a singer tells a joke, he can go right to his hit song. Mm-hmm. So it, it can be just cute. You know, he's not waiting around. You know, so like give it, give show Wayne Wayne Newton doing it. It's worth it's worth it. Then we'll have fun with it for two hours, hour and a half. To be humble when you're a success. <laughs> In between, to be arrogant when you're a flop. <laughs> oh. When it's one full of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't give a shit. So like right right he's like he just the band hits it out he does it. he does that joke every night he goes he doesn't care what it is I could give a fuck if you people like it or not I'm about ready to wail out a song with a forty piece orchestra so tonight I tell you folks sometimes it's stiff as a flagpole sometimes as wet as a soft noodle <laughs> and then your band takes off <laughs> you know you know oh, it's a soft noodle you know soft my, noodle lady you know my oh, go to joke she is she got a soft noodle in her. <laughs> And that lady was. <laughs> God damn it! I want to sing so good, but I sing so bad. Well, you could lean into it. You have a very guttural kind of voice. Well, so I'll take, can I show you, you something? Do a raspy, raspy can I, singing. Can I show you yeah, something? Try a Rod Stewart. Maybe. Hold on! Don't be rude. No. Oh. <laughs> don't you dare disgrace the legacy you, yeah, of Rod you Stewart. You know I How sing better you. than Rod Stewart. How That's an insult. You. That's so minute. insulting. All right, so hold on. Let me let me get this out. Once I get the opening out of the way, so. That one we can go to all night long. I told John tonight, just have fun with that one out of nowhere. But I don't want to hear that one every time. But we'll say something, <laughs> and at the right time, he'll come in with it. Here's the best what line I think. It makes it funny. You don't have, I'm, not, I'm giving you a line read, and I hate it. But as soon as you hear the music, you go, anyway, your version of, we'll do some of the old stuff, we'll do some of the new stuff. You go right into your song. If you, if, and, and here's the other one, which you can, by the way, no, the uh, Right, that might come on nowhere. You gotta make pretend you're the singer. When it's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen when you think it's gonna happen. Twenty minutes from now, you're gonna say something really funny. John's gonna come in, or Denver, what a town. It's gonna be this, that, or <laughs> give him the other one. And I'll and I'll tell you oh why I like God, this I'm one. I'm falling in love again. I'll tell. Ta- I'm falling uh-huh. in love right now. Oh no, no, I'm with somebody. I feel like I'm in love. <laughs> no, I can't. But Don, I can't help love. Love, you have to let it in. You have to you're- let love happen. Here's what I like about this one. Anytime it comes on, I think the trick should be how quick, because this is just a loop. So at any time you can, like, let's say you tell a joke and he comes in with it, you go, wise man, how quick can you come in? Like, like may pretend that we're doing the show. Turn it off. It's two minutes from now. And, and see how quick Aristotle can get reverb in my voice. Now, you might play New York, New York. <laughs> you might play Tom Jones. But when this one comes in, when uh-huh. this one comes in, yeah. Uh, how quick can you do it? So anyway, the thing I, think I, thing, got I told the girl, I said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Why men say only fools. <laughs> now, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. I, I, said, I, love hey, you- I said, hey, if you want the kids, you better suck my dick better. <laughs> lady, lady, lady. You're definitely not a man. You're a lady. Sorry to jail. So explicitly. <laughs> wow, so that's what's going to happen throughout the whole show. Good, I set that up. Zachary. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I, the minute I get this shit out of the way, I'm so much happier. Zachariah. <laughs> Zachariah, Zachariah. Zach, you came up to me after the shows at Stir Crazy in um, Glendale, Ari- Stir Crazy. Glendale, Ari- <laughs> Glendale. <laughs> 
Knee slappers. Glendale, Arizona. Goof them ups. So, and by the way, the the tickle fucks. They (laughs) built tickle fucks in Denver. They built a perfect. (laughs) They built a perfect comedy club. I was so impressed. I'm so excited to do today's show that I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about it more in the opening. But it was great. Stir crazy was just great. They, the, the guy built, he really put a lot of thought into a club. And a lot of people put thought in the club, but his thoughts were right. That's when it's yeah. That's so when anyway, it's Zachary, you came up and gave me a $50 gift to give it if I wanted to come over with the guys, me, and some of the guys in the band. And, uh, and uh, you gave it towards if we wanted to come over to, to Cuff. What's it called? The Cuff Downtown Bistro. Wow. I'll tell you what, we'll do some of the... No, that's not a good place for it. The lady was he would, The band wouldn't meat. do it while he was thanking people. That, that's like <laughs> when they played the Tonight Show theme when Johnny Carson was talking about his dead son and that guy never fucking worked there again. That's a true story, by the way. No way. Yeah, to George no Carlin. To George Carlin. That's, the, that's <laughs> not an urban happened? legend. Johnny was... Look, I'm sure the guy oh, who did it... Oh, first name basis? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Very much. Carson. Thank Cla- you very much. I'll tell you what, I sure had a great time tonight. We're gonna do some of the new stuff. We'll do some of the old stuff. We'll get you coming and going. These little pal, I just shit my pants. Right. Here we go. So what Zach, a pair let me of get this pants. out of the way. Hold no, 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 no. Johnny's son. Hold on, hold on. Oh, and then I have to talk about Zachary. Zachariah. The Zachariah. <laughs> Zachariah. <laughs> Brian Rigo. Zachariah. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, uh, hey, John so Brown Wagner Eric, and Eric Aristotle, son, they're here. Go back. So, uh, so, um, <laughs> so, uh, Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson had his son who, uh, now when you have to slow down and talk about it in great detail, it's, it's, you know, it's sad, of course. But, uh, his son had died and he was talking about, uh, a, a memorial to his son, basically, and got the, the, the light, basically. <laughs> you know, got the light. Like, and wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up. <laughs> no way. Yeah, and I believe the story oh because God. it comes from, you know, like, you, it depends who you hear it from. You know, I yeah. know the person that told me that, you know, and, and I've heard it ten times, and that it's always exactly the same. And I don't it's know if he even Johnny got Carson's fired. It's always Johnny Carson's son telling I me. I don't know if he got fired <laughs> even. I just think they never spoke again. To be honest, I forget. Wait, was it a producer <laughs> and then the band played? That's fucking No, insane. the band didn't play. They're just the wrap it up sign. Ugh. Wrap it up, And he had Johnny. been with them for years. I, I think it might have been Fred at a Corvette if Cobb and a Cooper <laughs> Can I tell you something? I love the Don Rickles. Now that you're a comedian, do you ever go back and watch old panel and go, Oh my first God. of all, you see He's them when amazing. they're younger. You see the comedians when they're younger, they're probably nervous. You know when you look back at your old work mm, and you always see yeah. like, the more and more comfortable you get on panel or in a situation, the more you become... I can see Don Rickles before he was comfortable and relate because we're both <laughs> been really? on... Yeah, you don't. You saw nervous Rickles. Y- yeah, how's that possible? Uh, How does that work? You know, you see work? him doing shows that you could tell was talked into by production. Like yeah. when before he just said, "Nope, I'm not doing that stuff." You could tell when a producer said, "Yeah, you'll go out on the street and you'll do what you do to everyone on the street," and it wasn't <laughs> working. Beca- and he knew it, but he's trying to do a show, and yeah. So you see him before he gets to the point where you're like, "No, he's just pure Rickles." Like he knows what wow. makes him great. And That's amazing. But you see it in the early stages. But anyway, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So anyway, Zachariah, you gave me a $50 gift card. We didn't end up using it. So I hope that that, I don't want it to just, you know, you were kind enough to get it. Maybe you know how to reverse it. I'm sure you got something (laughs) over there. But let me tell you something. You know what? I think tonight's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm very serious. Some nights there's a feeling in the air of we're in this, like, barn, and then outside. Shit, I knew 